Hi, Martin here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna help you take your OneNote pages from looking like this to looking like this by showing you how to embed your PowerPoints into OneNote. So let's get started. So here I'm on my OneNote, I just have a, a blank page that I want to add a PowerPoint to. Now, the traditional way of adding a PowerPoint would be to grab your file, I've got a PowerPoint here on my desktop, drag it, drop it, insert as an attachment, and there you have it. So I have attached my file to my OneNote page. However, it doesn't look particularly pretty. Um, it just seems to be you know, a big blank page with a tiny little icon on there. Similarly, if people want to access it, they have to double click and open up another piece of software. So depending on the person's device, that could take a bit of time. Do they even have the correct piece of software to be able to open it up? So what we're gonna do is, instead of inserting it as an attachment, we're gonna embed our PowerPoint by inserting it as a printout. That will allow you to view the PowerPoint directly within the OneNote page. So I'm gonna take that same file from my desktop I'm gonna drag and drop, and instead of selecting insert as attachment, I'm gonna go down one to insert as printout. Now what this will do is it will start converting the PowerPoint into a PDF. Now, depending on the size of the PowerPoint, this can take several minutes. For this example, I've got a smaller PowerPoint, so it hasn't taken long at all. But you can see I've got that same PowerPoint that has just been inserted almost as a set of sequential images that people can just scroll up and down and have a look through. Now the benefit of this is as soon as your students, colleagues, team members open up this page, the information is directly there. They haven't got to click on anything else, they haven't got to open up another piece of software. Um, so it, and obviously it adds more information to your page, it's not just a blank page with one small attachment on it. The benefit of doing this is that it also gives you options here, so it attaches a PowerPoint version and a PDF version, so you could keep them on there and allow people to access it that way. Similarly, you can just delete them and the embedded version down here will remain. So from here, you have a few kind of editing options. So say I could select all the slides here and I might just wanna move them all up a little bit. Now I've got rid of those attached versions, okay? Um, similarly, I can adjust the size. So if I wanted to maybe put them side by side or I can go the other way uh, and make them bigger as well. Similarly, if I've got a slide and I'm like, oh, maybe I don't need that one, I can go ahead and delete that slide as well. So you might have a bigger PowerPoint, embed it, and then you can go through edit and just keep the slides that you're looking for. Uh, the final tip that I'll give on this that I think is pretty cool is on my final slide here, I've got some questions that I would like my students to answer, but I guess they can't click and type on it. Uh, I guess I could get them to click next to it and write some answers, but I really love them to be able to actually uh, write or type uh, next to the questions themselves. So I'm going to select this slide. I'm going to uh, right click and then I'm going to set picture as background. So now I've set that picture as a background. I can add my cursor on top and I can start typing in any answers that I want. Similarly, I could go up to draw, I could grab a pen, and I could start drawing out my answers as well. So again, a very cool feature uh, that you can add on, and I've done all of this, uh, and your recipients, again, team members, colleagues, students, can do all of this without having to leave the OneNote page, which just eliminates uh, a whole host of errors or troubleshooting that you might run into. So there you have it. I hope that this OneNote uh, tip has been useful and I'll see you in the next video.